Good evening, Lindsay. This is Matt, and we are just going to go over how to interpret these graphs that I'm sending you. Okay, so this is the graph that you'll put into Visio and then move around, touch up, add some text, add an arrow, um, and make really pretty for Asaf and your committee members. So basically what this is, is this is a regression line right here, right? So this is like the mean line. And then these are 95% confidence intervals. So the 95% confidence interval above, the 95% confidence, confidence interval below. The x-axis represents values of cortisol change. And so this ranges from negative one to positive one. This was the mean centered one. Um, so the mean is directly dead at zero. And this, the y-axis is the neglect to internalizing uh, association. And so basically this is a, a pictorial way of describing how the moderation works. And so basically the interpretation is um, that when both the 95% confidence intervals are positive or both negative, which we don't have here, but they're both positive in this part, um, meaning they don't cross zero, the link between neglect and internalizing is positive and significant. So I'll say that again. When both the 95% confidence interval lines are above or below zero, both at the same time, um, then the link is significant. And then the positive or negative is based on whether they're above or below zero. Again, they'd have to be both below zero to be significant and negative, which they're not. So I'm not going to talk about that. Um, so this is the association between neglect and internalizing. As you can see, with low values of cortisol change, it is significant. There is a link, but there is a point at which, right here, where that 95% confidence interval breaks zero, and meaning the association is no longer significant. So for the individuals who fall on this portion of the cortisol change variable, the link between uh, neglect and internalizing is not significant, which supports the story that you're telling with the uh, multiple group analyses. And the interpretation is the same for the uh, externalizing graph, which is pretty similar, although the point is a little bit back, closer to negative 0.1. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, that's the end of this video.